There's a beautiful medrash that talks about, and it's quoted actually by Rashi, talks about Yaakov Avinu when he was sleeping on the Hara Moriah. He's sleeping on the place where the Be'er Beis HaMikdash was going to be built. He takes the stones to put underneath his head so that he could lay down. The medrash explains that these stones, these little stones, were fighting. They were arguing with each other, Rashi says. They were arguing and saying that the tzaddik's head should lay on me, so as if they were fighting for position, that they wanted Yaakov's head to be laying on them, that they could have this chus, the merit of having the tzaddik Yaakov lie his head down on them. Yaakov goes to sleep, and Hashem creates a miracle, as it said that originally he took from the Avne Hamakom, he took from the stones that were around the place, and in the morning when he wakes up it says, Vayikach Evan, he takes the stone. So why does it say that he took from the stones of a place to make a pillow for himself? But in the morning he took from the stone as, as if it was one stone. Why the change? Why the difference? So Rashi explains according to the Medrash that Kodesh Baruch Hu made it a miracle that since all of these stones were arguing with each other, God made it that all of the stones should be together united as one. And we learn from there that when there is achdus, when there is a sense of togetherness, that there is no fighting. The Ger Rebbe has a question on this Rashi. The question is that even when it became one big stone, we picture 12 small stones become one big stone, so the head of Yaakov would not lie on every single stone, there would be one big stone or on every part of that one big stone there would be parts of that one big stone that Yaakov's head would not touch so why would bring together all of the stones into one solve that problem if Yaakov's head would not be lying on every single part of that stone so explains the Geir Rebbe that's what it means the sense of achdos, the sense of togetherness if there's a sense of togetherness among the stones then they all feel as one. No one is going to complain about their little part. And so too, uh, when it came to Yaakov Avinu and all the stones t- together united as one didn't complain, so too when it comes to the Jewish people. When we are united together as one people, then there are no complaints. Sadly, it takes moments like these, the difficult times in the history of the Jewish people where we all become united as one, where we all recognize that we're fighting the same battle, we're fighting the battle of truth versus falsehood, we're fighting the battle of fighting the battle of Hashem, of Emes in this world. And we realize that we are all united together in the same endeavor. We realize that we all need to gather together on a number of different fronts, on the Davening front, on the Tehillim front, and also on the practical front of reaching out to our legislators and making sure that they support the state of Israel and our brethren in Israel and what they are doing. And we should be Zoha, that Hashem should see our unity during this difficult time. And by virtue of seeing the togetherness of the Jewish people, He bless us and ultimately bring peace to our Tzainu HaKadoshah, to our Holy Land, true peace, the peace where Hashem reveals Himself his strength and his power and his emes to the entire world and that we should be able to see the Or Chadash, to see the new light that will reign Al Tzion Ta'ir, that will beautify and brighten Tzion Yerushalayim during our times. Thank you for listening and have a good Shabbos.